Sydney pinga. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. Hell of an office one. Ah, my favorite guerrilla. Want me to make you the best supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Casio was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castile is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castile in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. 
Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In Al Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Fili Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Dani, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Fili. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm going to get all these groups to sign up to Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Efa! Yeah, yeah. I'm not Clara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate one. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants. But she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor. From the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? Do you want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me.
kill soldiers, Castillo's going to send his special forces after you. Know what makes them so special? They're specially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. Maybe I deserve it. Maybe I'm not a true Yaran. Dio mio. Clara, I'm near El Este. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? This is the land where legends are born, Danny. The 67 revolution started in El Este. El Tigre, La Quimama, Lorenzo, Lobo, they led the guerrillas who overthrew Castillo Circle. And they know I'm coming to give them the good news. El Tigre is very, very excited. Promise. Looks like those guerrillas need help. El Tigre? That's me. You must be that kid Clara mentioned. Libertad's chosen one. I'm not a kid. Of course not. You're baby Tigre. And don't worry. I'll make sure you don't end up one of Benitez's trophies. Who's Benitez? Head of Castillo's Navy. A real sea monster. She likes to hang traitors like fish for all of El Este to see. Pal carajo. Well, I'm in El Este now. I love it. <coughs> All of it. You uh, okay. have a long night? The rum and coke was flowing last night, baby tiger. Minus the coke. Be in there. I'm sending you some photos. Should help you find us. Is that a crab rock? See. Si. Call me when you get there. 
Clara, guess who just found where all the coffee is made in Yara? It's no joke, Danny. This is where the army forces farmers to give up their harvests or get thrown into the camps. Castillo grows rich from the profits and the people starve. You want to stop it? Take the oil powering the factory. And while you're at it, take the fucking factory too. Tigre, Matic Crabrock, very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we Garriers are like the crabs. Hard shells, sharp claws. They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to La Revolution. See, si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain, very easy. A Garria must be short footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Binga.
I think this will help. The view from the waterfall was so beautiful. Seeing the wall of 67 gave me chills. Watch it! The view from the waterfall was Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre, I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. So is a handful of grenades. <laughs> The waterfall around red that day. You know, with all the blood. The friendly soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. Show us. Hiking trail for sweaty touristas. They'd visit our camp, leave their shit everywhere, take photographs of us like we were animals in a zoo. So we might have accidentally lit a few dynamite sticks and might have accidentally blocked the trail. Then I might have to accidentally.
really disappear up here. It would make an army blind. Uh, how is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Not the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo. A revolutionary, a warrior, and a dear friend. Killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. You never live to see a free Yara. To... To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! You're missing all the fun, baby Tigre!
the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Now we'll do that again. What? Me casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. I easy, mama. Herpes doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legend. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legend. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Danny Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on her side. Heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled, my baby tigre.